Welcome to Lynn's Ben on XRT. He would make people cry. He, I cried many times when he was telling a story from his youth, being taken to his first baseball game. Last summer, Bramer disclosed he was being treated for prostate cancer and returned to the air in November with a Lynn's Ben about his struggles. And you should know always how much your beautiful words have kept me afloat. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. And to tell you the truth, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Bramer was also a world-class Cubs fan, his name being featured tonight on the Wrigley Field marquee. There wasn't a, a season that went by where you wouldn't see Lynn uh, at Wrigley Field. There he is, a rookie who will only know day baseball in Chicago. He's warming up at shortstop, live, slender, a body that belies his prodigious power. Every opening day, Bramer hosted his show at Yoxie's, where I last spoke to him in April. For so many of us, it's a tradition that goes through generations. There are people that go to opening day at Wrigley Field every year. I know I have, like, I don't know, 29 out of the last 30 years. Look on social media today and the, over the next few days as word gets out and see how many people collectively Lynn has been smiling and having his arms around um, from all over the world. WXRT will honor Bramer with a tribute tomorrow at 10 a.m., which is the time he started his show every weekday. Up until just a few weeks ago, I can't believe he's not going to be at uh, Wrigley Field for the opening day this year. He really was the poet laureate of Chicago. And I know you two had that, that Cubs camaraderie in common. Used and to see him at the ballpark yes. all the time. I know you didn't know him well, but you, you listened to him. I did. And, you know, his voice was like a warm blanket. You know, mm -hmm. when I heard the news this morning, I was just, I was I was so heartbroken about it. And even though you, I never did meet him, I felt like I did know him, you know, right. and that he cared he so that much. He people. did such a kind-hearted person, you could tell. He was a great guy. Yeah.